Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and we're here at SC13 in Denver, Colorado, and we're here at the NumaScale booth. And I'm here with Einar Reinstadt. How are you doing today? Well, fine so far. Fine so far. Yeah. So, so let's start at the beginning. Who is NumaScale, and, and who do you help? Well, NumaScale is a company that builds hardware for interconnecting multiple standard servers into large scalable systems with shared memory, cache coherent shared memory. So uh, um, what are you showcasing this week at SC13? Well, we're showcasing, well, first of all here, a system with shared I.O. So, you know, you can share everything in that system, uh, processors, memory, I.O. So this, uh, this particular system here is a free node system uh, with uh, GPUs in them, uh, actually uh, performing an actual simulation and displaying it as we speak. And from the user's perspective, do these three devices look like a single system image? Then? That's, that's exactly what they do. So that helps in uh, system administration and ease of use and programming, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the fact that you've got this aggregated memory, that means I don't have to do message passing then? Well, or You don't have to do message passing. <laughs> if, you, if, you want, if, if, you, if you not absolutely have to, you don't have to. You can do it if you like, and it performs very well as well. Well, Einar, I wanted to ask you, there's a big uh, uh, instance of this at the University of Oslo, isn't there? That's true. Uh, we have a big installation there with 1,728 cores, 4.6 terabytes of memory, all running a single instance of the operating system. And, and I heard about a white paper that kind of looked at the performance and scalability. Can you tell us what's in there? Well, yeah, that's uh, trying to line out the, uh, the results that we have from benchmarks that we've been running lately. Uh, a lot of the effort we put in have been running the NAS kernels and showing great scalability and great performance versus the MPI versions. Okay, so we got listeners out there and readers, and yeah. if they wanted to try this out, how could they go about doing that? Well, we have established a demo system that uh, people can apply for you know, time on, and they can actually run their code and try it out in real life.